Hello, it's me, Zua, and today... The shape of it looks like a triangle. Hello, it's me Zoa, and today I've got a very special episode about the Paradox Pokemon in um, Scarlet and Violet, because I've got a big theory here, right? And I'm going to introduce you to two games. One is called Jade Cocoon, Story of a Tamamayu for the PS1. It was released in 99, I think, and... No, it might be... No, it was released in first Pokemon game so, and it's 3D voice acting included voice acting good voice acting it plays like Pokemon except you have overworld encounters like you now do in the Pokemon games that's something Pokemon took for Jake Cocoon the concept of battling with your trainer and being damaged by Pokemon and Arceus is also lifted from the first Jake Cocoon game where you get weapons and swords on your uh, trainer to fight the other Pokemon but it oftentimes worked out better to use your Pokemon to fight. You could even merge them. Now then, there was a really cool glitch in Pokemon Diamond, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, where you could effectively fuse two Pokemon together. One, I fused a Kyogre with a Snorlax. This is a Jade Cocoon 2 mechanic. It's in that game. Because what happened there is, the Snorlax took the moveset, the nature of a Kyogre, and applied it to itself. Now, Jade Cocoon 2, that is how you merge instead of the other way. In Jade Cocoon 1, you merge and you but just like say them two fused together or like Vegeta and Goku fused together, that would be the result. Right. Now then, so you already know some things that Pokemon have uh, lifted, right? Now I'm going to blow your minds. The first thing I'm going to show you, right? Well, it's already on. It's the Titan, right? There's awesome new Pokemon, right? And... I want you to look at each one as well, right? Now then, this is a Paradox Pokemon. This is their ancestor. It's got to on it. I need to find it. Um, two seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, that is called a Morgue. It is the last fully evolved stage of the evolution line in, in Jade Cocoon 2. That is called a Morg. Look at its legs. Look at the tail, right? And now look at Sit Titan. Now, Jade Cocoon 2 was released in 2001. Pokemon Gold and Silver were released in 1999. So that's something to take note of here, right? It is, because I'm going to go back to that example with the Titan. So, so look at a Morg from Jade Cocoon 2, right? And Jade Cocoon 1 is also another, I mean, like, one. Pokemon called uh, Mugu and Zobu, which looks similar as well. Now look, it's a Titan. Right. So I'll go back to the Morg. Look at the horns, the tail, legs, the Titan, and also a Heatran. A Morg is the paradox ancestor of both the Titan and Heatran. For Jade Cocoon 2. So there's the paradox form of Heatran and Sir Titan. It is a morgue. So now I've caught that one, I'll close them off. I'm going to talk about Boot Bonnet later, as that's going to be a big mind blow. The next one I'm going to show you is Baboon. This one right here. And I'll show you through this little cutscene on here. And I find it. Just give it two ticks. In the meantime, I'll just go there we are, found it. I 
I need you to take note of this because I'm going to show you an old video of mine where I was talking about the tray of knowledge because this is going to tie you in, right? So if we go here, I'm going to let my past, this is a paradox form, so meet my paradox form from the past three years ago, explaining that. If you watch my other videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. Right, that's a tree. That's a tree. It looks like the entrance to a Mr. Kaboom, doesn't it, in the, in the game? Like an RPG, like a Jade Kaboom too, which I've shown you. Legend in the of Zelda, right. secret caves and stuff like that. And this is an yeah, ogre man. In Pokemon, this would be okay. considered a raid then den. A Gigantamax raid, raid den is taken for Jade Cocoon 2. And I'll show you around the bit. Like a tree. See, could that Our Pokemon tree is the tree knowledge inside of it. It's got another year before it does that. So, we yeah. went inside of that cocoon and encountered the tree knowledge. Now then, on the actual game Jade Cocoon, he's going to encounter the paradox form of our Corona and Slivery. Not this, this is a different one. This one, so he's just walked into the cocoon like I did on like the real version. He's following the box. Now the box following him as he walked in. And then that's where I stopped and I pointed out the tree and got it, didn't I? And I walked. And now meet the paradox form of the of of um Marco Warner slivering and iron moth. Meet it. This came out with Jade. Well, Corona came out and put a black and white about us not in 2001. So there we are. Well, Corona's paradox form. <laughs> yeah, it's also Slivering's paradox form. God, I'm going to get that back up. And compare the images. Right, so let's go straight to Slivering. Right, so take note of the size of its body. It's a bit bigger than for Corona, but guess what? Sliverings is as well. This is called Maburn. That's called Maburn, that moth. Right? It is Sliverings and for Corona's even older paradox form. Now for the next one. It's going to be discussing rotation battles and how things work in the games and how Pokemon has taken a lot from it as well. We introduced rotation battles in um, Pokemon Black and White, didn't we? Yeah, and um, you could use like three Pokemon, but Jade Cocoon, right, Jade Cocoon 1, you can carry three Pokemon and you just play it like Pokemon. But Jade Cocoon 2, you get this thing. It's called the Beast Amulet. Yes, it looks like a Stargate, and you watched my past video where you saw things come through that Stargate. Hey. Right. So if you look at this, the rotation battle works here, you have three in the front row, and you can put nine on, you rotate it to where you want it to be. So you can have three Pokemon out at once on the rotation. Pokemon took the eye jab and Jake Cocoon too. Now then, meet Garchomps. And possibly, and possibly, um, Sharpedo's Paradox form. Giant stuff, they're like giant giant mass coffee inside of the Mater. Garchomp's ancestor, perhaps? Garchomp's paradox ball, perhaps? Or even Sharpedo's, you know? Now then, we're going to move on, because now we're going to talk about uh, Great Tusks. Right. Great Tusks. Look at the shape of it, look at the tail. And do you see them bits at the side? Them bit, them little the yard flaps? Right, now then. Yes, you guess where I'm going. In Jade Cocoon 2, released way before Pokemon Scarlet Violet, this is the final evolution of... of... a fusion 
of grey tusks and iron shreds. So if you take grey tusks and iron shreds, fuse them together, you get their even older paradox form in Jade Cocoon. It's in Jade Cocoon 1 and 2. There is Grey Tusks and Iron Treads as one original Pokemon. Just like Clefairy and Jigglypuff's ancestor is Screamtail. That is the ancestor of both Jigglypuff and Clefairy. This is the ancestor of Donphan, Iron Treads and Grey Tusks that came before all of them. Just like Amok came before he ran onto Titan. Now for the biggest paradox, right? Because the Jade Cocoon, you, you, you use what's called to bind silk. It's, you cocoon up a Pokemon using it and you play a flute. You need music. Because that's, you know, sound waves are physical. And you know what happens? You, it gets spun into a cocoon and you catch it. Just like a Pokeball. However, Pokeballs didn't exist back then. Did they? So, how... Did Brute Bonnet get a Pokeball design? How did it develop a Pokeball design, right? Before Pokeballs were even a thing. I'll show you why. Because he has its Paradox form. Yep, that's the one I'm looking for. So, I'm just going to remind him of my journey and then I'll play it back because this is the biggest mind block. But so again, all I need to do is explain, so here we go. If you watch my other videos, you know exactly what I'm talking when I about. Show you on, when I show you the game right. footage, you'll see the same trick. thing like you did with Mamoon. I went into the cocoon and Mamoon appeared like the Paradox form of Arkham Warner. Doesn't it? In the, right. in the game. Like, not now I'm going to show like you the Paradox form of Boot Bonnet and the Moongus. Because right. this is old Arab Boot Bonnet. Old Arab. Not this one showing you, because that's straight up. But the same thing. Because this is a tree within a tree. So there we are. I've just, I've just done what he's doing. I went to the cocoon, saw the tree of knowledge, there it is. And now, for Brute Bonnet, Brute Bonnet Paradox form. Because look at the grass. The grass that's dangling off it, right? Meet this Paradox form through me. But take the cocoon too. No Pokeball design, right? And look at the spikes, just like Boot Bonnet. Now then, someone went back in time with a Pokeball. And the knowledge it was introduced to replace killing Pokemon by spinning them for Divine Silk to catch more Pokemon. That adapted and took on the Pokeball design on the top. Explain that is the oldest Paradox, the oldest paradox. It's swoomy. Yeah. And now there's been a move introduced in the here, right? Called Revival Blessing, right? Now, Jake Cocoon 2, you had two moves that could do that. You had Adia, which would it which would revive a Pokemon to 1 HP. And Angandia, which would revive it to full HP. Now we in Pokemon Scarlet have got the, the, the move in between. Revival Blessing would come between them two in terms of strength. That revives at 1 HP, Revival Blessing revives at half, and then Angandia revives at full. Jade Cocoon did it first. Do you need more proof that Jade Cocoon did it first? Yep. Being all right, because it's all part of the same universe and it's all being eclipsing in, as it should be. Now then, let's go and do some paradoxes. There's a reason for uh, this. Right, now we've got, now we're going to talk about terrestrialization. Right. Here we are. 
This house I'm in might as well be classed as Area Zero as well. As all them gemstones are here to power up fucking a stargate across space and time, you see. All of it. So, go down right to the crater. Get out of my way, Dutch Wheel. This place is later to gemstones, isn't it? Ah, the limit. Guy with a shiny! I love this music. So it can bring you to tears. This music can bring you to tears. It's good music though. Right, so let's go into the research then. I'll have it. There we are. Can't miss it, like it's a big massive gemstone! Let's get in. There's a summit I need to show you. Institute by wallpaper, you see how it's triangled. In the ghost type Pokemon gym on, gym on here, the stage has um, triangles and. Ah, like, that football in the middle of the stadium is uh, that. I can't get in there for some reason. But that's okay. Because inside there, the walls are crystallized triangles, right? The, the third legendary, right? That disc. It's got to be a Stargate of some kind. And as for Trastalization, this is a, this Terra type is Dragon. It could also be Sea Serpent, so Dragon. Remember what I said, you play your cards right. You might as well miss it like this. Might as well be a Sandy Shox. Oh, we to go glitched into the wall. The shape of sharp, shape of it all, but what the Sandy Shox do? It's a, it's itself. It's a paradox for a minute. I don't know what the other form of that is, but what I do know is the ones I explained before, right? Well, I hope you learned something there because I had my mind blown. So there you are. I hope you have watched this, enjoyed it, and yeah, have a merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time. Hello, it's me Zoa, and today. I'm going to try something. I don't know if it'll work or not. <clears throat> but I want you to listen to the words of the first verse of this song. I'm only going to do the first verse. <clears throat> Well, I was shackled by a heavy burden Need a load of guilt and shame Oh, but then the hand of Jesus just touched me and now I am no longer the same. He touched me. Oh, he touched me. And oh, the joy that floods.
touch my soul Something happened And now I know He touched me And he made Guess what? Well, since I met that way, and since his blood has made me whole, hallelujah, I will never see to praise him and I'm gonna shout it while all eternity rolls he touched me oh he touched me and oh the joy that floods my soul touched me and he made me whole. Are you shackled by a heavy burden? Are you beneath a load of care and shame? Let Jesus touch you this morning. <clears throat> Let him put his hand on you. Ask him to touch you and to get you to the heavenly father. <clears throat> Ask him to get you to the father where you can confess those sins and you can get forgiveness through the blood sacrifice and you can be born again. You can lose that burden. You can lose that guilt and you can lose that shame. <clears throat> and then you can sing well I'm so glad Jesus set me free I'm so glad that Jesus set me free I'm so glad that Jesus set me free singing glory hallelujah Jesus set me free old Satan had me found but Jesus set me free. Satan had me bound. Jesus set me free. Satan had me bound. But Jesus set me free. Say, glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free. Well, now I'm so glad. My Jesus set me free. I'm so glad that Jesus set me free. I'm so glad that. Glory, hallelujah, Jesus, he set me free, oh yes he did, yes he did, my Jesus set me free. Been a while since we've done that, so I thought I'd try it. <clears throat> 